Hello, and welcome to Built and Deployed, a video series for cloud architects. My name is Gordon McCart, and I'm the cloud architect with Oracle. Today, I'm thrilled to be here with Patrick Lesandrini, Director of Analytic Data Services at PayPal. Could I ask you to spend just a few minutes to walk through your architecture that you're using on OCI? Describe the technical rationales and advantages of that design for PayPal. Yeah, as for services, we're very focused on the uh, FP planning community. So today, we're using primarily the SBase in the cloud and the Oracle Analytics cloud. So those are the two features we're, we're taking advantage of. And I think you call out something interesting about how data flows. Um, given the security composites at, at um, PayPal, you know, information, data does not flow in and out of the company or even within zones um, without it being audited. So we use a product called DropZone um, as a rule. There are no direct connections, no ports open between any data zones. Uh, this is the way we ensure that all data being moved uh, in between zones is captured, it's encrypted, it's audited, and it's traceable. I'm gonna start with security layers and considerations. I should note here that only users on our PayPal network can access the sensitive applications. Um, you know, this enables us to leverage things like our WAF, our denial of service, DDoS, proxies, and whitelisting to secure access. Within the application, we assign groups through the IDCS security layer. And again, depending on your role uh, in your region and other um, responsibilities you might have as an employee, you might have access to a vertical cube, a planning cube, a legal entity cube, or you might have access for just legal entity cube in um, LATAM or legal entity cube in Luxembourg. I should note dev uh, only has developer access and it's only our internal team. QA is a re replica of production at any given time. We use it for testing new cubes and changes to existing. We also use it for forecast flips for month end closes for major significant um, restatements so that users can get in and see the data before it's released to production. Hey Patrick, can you tell me why at PayPal you, you seem to have like a single zone with all production development and and, and QA all releases in the same one where most people tend to isolate them. You know, at the end of the day, there's three types of security composites I have. When you're coming into a bastion subnet, there's a set of rules that have SFTP and port 22 and a number of things that are distinct, maybe EPM automate. I have a security composite for anything that in, sits in a load balancer VCM which might be like an Oracle Analytics Cloud or might be a load balancer for the backend set for SBase. And then I have a different security composite for all the applications, which is very tight and very controlled. And I thought about long-term sustainability. If, if I take three and make nine out of it, every time my organization adds a new CIDR for Singapore or something for LATAM, I have to touch all those systems. And I thought from a maintenance perspective, there is no security risk to having them all together. My production users are probably the biggest group and there's no harm with them being in the same subnet as my, um, as my prod and QA users. Um, in fact, they are the same users when you think about it. Um, in terms of Bastion, that's only used by development team. So there really would be no profit in having three different Bastion subnets or even worse, uh, three different Bastion servers. What we discovered is when we spun up Bastion servers for each of the architectures, one for QA, one for dev, one for production, what the behavior was the users, I'm sorry, the developers always used the primary box. Nobody ever logged into the other two Bastion servers because you didn't need to because they were all within the same subnet. So again, I think it's simplified in terms of the whitelisting, it's simplified the maintenance that we had to do in terms of tracking all these different VCNs. Uh, it made the, the story easier for InfoSec about the design. And the truth is it mirrors what we do on premise. I appreciate you taking the time to share your story. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. This has been Built and Deployed. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for more technical conversations with our OCI customers.